Good afternoon, Schmoland. What is that noise? Oh, it's part of the music. It's just very, just got like very intense chip tuny for a while there, for a second. It was okay. Welcome to Jotome, a term that I originally hated, but now I'm kind of embracing. It's kind of, I mean, it's it's perfect in its own way. The alerts down there. There we go. A little loud. The music is a little loud. The music's too loud! It's too loud! What did you guys do this weekend? I did a phenomenal amount of nothing. Like, really quite exceptional amount of nothing. I went on a, I went on a hike. Well, that's not really true. I don't... I say that like I ever actually do nothing. Why isn't this, uh... This needs to be streaming. Hang on. Ah, it needs to be going there. Um, yeah, I never really do, like, nothing, nothing. I, I think I went on, like, a, a hike for three miles. I finished an audiobook I've been working on. I very rarely do audiobooks, but this one was uh, kind of a fun one. And, uh, what else did I do? I just kind of lazed around. I took a couple naps. I slept a lot. Uh, I worked on, I worked on some music stuff that was really fun. Uh... Took a friend to the airport. You know, whatever. Which is kind of a whatever, whatever kind of weekend. And I really needed it. I really needed an AM, uh, uh, a whatever kind of weekend, just in general. Yeah, it really wasn't nothing, but. Uh, no, it's not a mechanical failure book. All of my all of my books that I've written, I've already narrated. Hold on one second. You wrote a horror story with Gavin as a werewolf. Wasn't Gavin a vamp? No, oh, was Gavin a werewolf? In the... In last year's Halloween thing, wasn't he? I can't remember. He turned He turned into something, right? Was it a vampire? He was a werewolf. He was a werewolf. Okay. You have six dogs, Missy? My God. That's a lot of wolf power. There's some serious wolfage going on there. I, uh, I used the wrong setting on trimming my beard, so it's now significantly shorter than it was. I was, I still am indeed working on a PhD. It's going great. I actually finished all the reading for this session early, which is really surprising. I got to work on papers. I'll have three different papers to write that will be due April 28th. My goal is usually to get that crap out of the way early so I can just kind of coast. So, um, yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of, you know, what I'm doing. Oh, we got a lot of we got a lot of dogs dog owners in here like people with multiple dogs we have, so we have hang on that's 16 animals between three people that's a lot that's a lot of animals thanks to the gift port not port port north port north i don't know what my plan so okay it's a couple of blast the phd is in mythological studies with a focus in depth psychology so that's a very fancy way of saying uh, a lot of ancient stories and religions and what those mean to us on like a subconscious unconscious level like let's let's put it that way so uh, learning about rituals and um in d mythologies of different cultures we've gone through greek roman hindu african just mythologies from all over the world and uh 
finding all the common themes and what purpose mythology serves in society, why it's important, and that kind of thing. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I think, I think I would like to do something with it and video games. Um, so yeah, I just, I don't know what it's, I don't know what it's going to be. It could be one of many things or it could be nothing. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm not summoning Cthulhu. I mean, maybe I am. Maybe. Every stream is a mythology stream. I mean, Lady Venora, we had a, we had a couple streams where I was playing Hades where like I would just sort of go off on tangents for huge amounts of time. Um, so yeah, thanks Danielle. Seven cats, one dog, and two turtles? That's a lot of things in your house. I would love to play it. Hades was fun. Roguelikes, what I don't like about roguelikes is the idea that you have to constantly start over. Um, it's an addictive game, it was fun, but like at some point, like I want to make progress and I don't want to make progress in like a, like a yo-yo kind of way. I just want to go for, oh my God, I just worked out and my arms are like so dead. Um, this is cool. What am I listening to? It's really neat. Um, yeah, so like I have a problem with roguelikes just kind of like getting forward. I, I haven't played any other roguelike with a, um, with a setup quite like Hades. You know, like the last roguelike I think I really played a lot was in college. I think I played Diablo 2 or whatever. Um, and it was like, you know, there was, there were at least benchmarks where you could get through it. And I was always playing with somebody. So I don't know. What's my favorite myth? There's no, I have no favorite myth. That's like saying like, I, I, favorite questions never really work for me. Like what, what's your favorite food or what's your favorite band? It kind of depends. It's like art, art and stories are spiritual food, right? Whatever tastes good is what you need at that moment. So there are times where I'll be reading something, um, in a Greek myth that I'll just love and that'll, it'll work for me. Hype train. And there'll be times where like I was reading the Mahab Mahabharata the other night, which is a, um, a Hindu myth. And it was like, there were a couple of lines in it that just really spoke to me at the moment. So, cool. it's, uh, so I have no real favorite myth. I don't know. Only lamp. Don't start sh about waffles. Okay. I like how you couched it with your awesome, but then waffles are even more awesome. The comparative to waffles. I don't know. The allegory of the cave is great. Is a great myth. I don't know if it's a myth so much as just like a, uh, an, an allegory, <laughs> but, um, yeah. Yeah. If you have a favorite myth, drop it in the chat. Yeah. It's like picking a favorite child. Exactly. Pocket Calico. The only waffles I acknowledge as incredibly superior are liege waffles. Like the waffles with the sugar cubes in them. Those are amazing. And I had someone like hand me one off the griddle, um, iron in Bruges, Belgium. And like, I almost died. It was so good. JJ, I wait till they go to bed. I don't, I don't write papers with kids around. I wait till they're unconscious. Who made that poll? God damn it. Mods. You're all fired. Hey, Retro City, thanks. Okay, so I had a very helpful person reach out to me on Twitter. And so we're going to follow their advice. I'm going to go back here. Tuck, tuck. Okay. Dev, Dev Lamott. Dev Lamott, she's, uh, she lives in Sweden. And she was like, we need to talk about how much you f***ing suck at playing Mr. Love Queen's Choice. So she laid out some... Uh, some steps for me to start. And that's not really what she said. Um, but we're going to, we're going to give it a shot here. We're going to give it a shot. Are we going to get sound today? Yeah, we are. 
I wish I could get it to, to boost louder. Do you guys want me to remix Gavin's theme in like, in like a, what style should I remix it in? I would love to do music streams with you guys. I need to like up my remix game so that I can actually progress within, you know, like a two hour period and we could do it together. Once I kind of get, I need to get my composition chops back up again. Um, all right, coming through all mysteries and traps. My superpower is my super love for you. Woo. All right, where are my instructions? We need to talk about this. You need to let us help you gain some resources or you'll get stuck. First of all, after... Load! Yeah, there's a little like sparkly audio thing. I'm not really sure what's going on there. That's really annoying. I'm gonna disconnect it from from here, and then and then I'm gonna go back. So hang on, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop the cast and start again. I'll see if it's in here. Well, now there's no music. No, no. I almost cast it to like my room upstairs. Uh, this one. Uh huh. Well, now there's no music at all. This isn't what I want. All right, we're gonna close it and start again. Do 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 do. Do 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 I got you guys, don't worry. Do 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 There we go. Okay. Doesn't suck. The, the, the... Gavin looks like he got the sh** beaten out of him there. Okay. So here are my instructions. First of all, after you open up the game, click on... Event. Stop it. I'm trying to learn. Click on events. And select on sign in. Get the free stuff for that day. Do I click all of it? No. Is that it? Is that the free stuff for the day? Okay. Get the free stuff of the day. If you want some karma level up stuff, you can get eight of them on the 23rd this month. Well, that's today, isn't it? What do we do? Oh, that's it. The bond wish, right? Okay. Okay. Um, secondly, I know the current event is overwhelming, but click on my only love. And then click time subway. Click rewards to the left. There's a diamond shaped tab for server reward. Go get free stuff there. Oh my gosh, there's so much. Ah! Ah! Okay, that's it. I have a 
tremendous amount of stamina. Thirdly, get your Gavin Karma. What is it? Lingering Nightmare? Oh no! See, I departed. I departed from the, the plan. I'm off the plan, guys. I guess we're going through this. I felt a light heartache, but could not remember what had happened. I didn't even know. Oh, the only thing I knew was perhaps everything in this world was following an invisible path of fate. Bad news kept showing up. As for the reason of this twisted fate, maybe everything was destined the moment Evol was born into this world. I looked through the window as lights flew past from outside. I saw the reflection of my confused face. It took me quite some time to realize this as my brain seemed to be working slower than usual. I got on my feet, walked to the door, and looked outside the cabin. I could still hear the noise of people, albeit it seemed to have come from another world. Alright, if I'm going to get confused... What's billboard? Check rewards. I'm not any of these. Am I not even the 99%? Alright, whatever. Alright, so now it's time for me to get my Gavin Karma. Get my Gavin Karma to level 20 with the new stuff. Level up. Yeah. So we're max. <sighs> then focus on your SR card. Is that Lucian? So now do I pump all my all my stuff into this? Do I just do I just pump it? All the way? So, all right, I'm checking rewards. How do I claim them? Okay, there we go. I have wish coupons? What's a wish coupon? Okay. Uh, wish tree. Three times. I got a heart flower and a Gavin card. Cool. So now do I level up that? So do I level? I only have one. All right. Well, I leveled him up. All right. There was another tree. Let's go. Uh, wish tree. Three times. Heart petal. And Goldman. I don't really like Goldman. I'm not a huge fan.
I want to buy one for 3,000 gold. I got one. I don't know what a 10 pull is. Oh, I got another Oh, so now everyone got upset. Everyone got upset because I was going to buy one. Look what I got now. I don't know what this really is, to be honest. I don't know what I don't know what a shard is. Should I buy another one? Oh, I thought it was Ryan. I got excited. All right. Okay, okay. I need 50 shards? That's a lot. I don't know what a coupon is. So that's the end. Last, before signing off for the day, get the daily quest quest rewards. It won't be much at your level, but it'll be gold, gems, and exp. Okay, got a couple of that. Friends. Let's look at my friends. Um, let's claim all. Oh, you guys, you guys sent me messages too. I didn't know that you could actually send me, send me messages. Gavin, please bang me. That's amazing. Thank you, guys. Angst train goes brrr. So many boyfriends. Oh, wow. Maybe I don't want to read any of these. Fly me to the moon. Play them all. What does enable mean? Do you want to reject stamina? No! I got, all right. Oh, I gotta check my mail. From Gavin. In these two years, I have seen many sceneries never experienced before, and I am no longer alone. This journey with you, I hope it will never end. From Office Boy. Thanks for submitting all those amazing videos in Discord. Office Boy sending a lot of emails here. Oh my god. Um, all right, I got achievements. That's cool. I guess I'll, I'll claim all those. Cool. Collecting some stuff. Why does it give me an, there was no exclamation point there, was there? No, 6% went, okay. Boop, boop. All right, so I did, where's daily quests? Why is it still? Oh, cause I sent stamina, all right. What else is there? All right. City news? Oh, this is the investigating thing, right? All right. What gem? I got news! Let's investigate. I'm working at a confectionery, and a little girl always comes by in the evening. <clears throat> Go check on her. This is this is this one, right? Grab her, take her in. Oops, I screwed it up. Go. Take this candy, take this candy, take this candy, take this candy. Offer her a sample. Would you like to sample? Go. Take a candy. Give it a girl. Give it a try. Give it a try. Give it a try. Go. You see the girl looking longingly at all the sweets inside to treat her to uh, a chocolate cake. Yes. You need an excuse from work to take the little girl home now. I am i forgot to do my laundry. I need a very long bathroom break. <laughs> I need a very long bathroom break. I'm not feeling well. Yes. Young kid wanders outside candy store daily. Homeless. That's it. All right, I got some some stuff. 
I'll get that. I got an investigation medal. Click on the pink gem on the mission board. What pink gem? This one? In the mission board? Pink to aha! Alright, I'm trying to I'm trying to get rid of all these red exclamation points. Uh clearance. Wait, did I oh I'm claiming these, right? Wait, what else? Is that it? Did I do it? I did it! Okay. Um, let's look at what's evil supply. The root of all evil. Click it! Your best assets along the way. I don't know what any of this is. Okay. Recommended. Oh, I don't want to do that right now. Uh. I don't think I have anything that I can use to upgrade you, do I? Wait, did I get more of them? Can I upgrade Cat Gavin now? No, because I need to start him up, right? Okay. Um, okay, I just wanted him to level two because I'm going to be using him. I know how to star up karma. I, th I think I do anyway. I just don't have the equipment. I don't have the stuff for it. I'm going to have to go hunting for it. Give me, yeah, normal mission 2-2. Two, two. We'll do one of those and we'll get some HK milk tea. The client wants feedback from random street taste test. Go, thanks. Thanks is fun. Fun thanks. The concept calls for a new packaging for the drink. I shouldn't have used thanks. Dingle Daisy. Yeah. Oh, wow. Destroyed it. Destruction. To me, it's only you and everyone else. What else would it be, Gavin? Gavin, that's, there's nothing. To me, it's only you and everyone. There's no exclusion there. You didn't exclude anybody. It is, that is, that is, there's nothing else it could be. Are you okay, Gavin? Nailed it. We got, we got milk tea. No, not retried. What I wanted was remake, right? Yeah. Okay. I think I have, I have gained enough milk tea. So, all right, we're going to start up. Gavin's karma. Which one is it? Is it this one? Okay, I gotta. I need talisman. We're gonna go to normal mission 218. I know. I want to play them. I know I don't have to. Spooky cries ring out on the ground floor. Send Tysona to kick that ghost's ass. Sprinkle salt around the credits. <laughs> Stop! In the name of Jesus Christ, I compel you. Uh, your team wants to hire someone for narration and commentary. I feel like Spine wouldn't be good for narration. He'd be like, well, maybe that would be good. It was uh, 
5.30 a.m. and I was on my third, fifth of vodka in the office. I was smoking. Maybe. Just when I was about to give up from the setbacks, he popped into my mind. Let me hear culinary arts and Ryan, the ice cream man and Lucian. Life is about discovery. That's not as exciting as I'm scared by my own ruthlessness. All right, come on, Lucian, save this one. Bring me to three star. Oh, almost. Yeah, I got a, I got a talisman. And we'll remake times 10. That's it. Three, four, five. No, wait, that's, that's, that's still not enough, is it? Finish filming. Uh, I have, is that enough? Is that enough? Usually it gives me that message, which I didn't see. I'm gonna do it again. One more, okay. Spooky cries. Get those ghosts. Uh, spine. Crush it, crush it! I was scared out of my pants. Got it. We stand Ryan in this stream. Gavin, catch eye, star up. I've got everything I need except the ice cream. Let's go get it. Hero's wearing a mascot outfit, but it can still be dangerous. Someone should send Tysona, who's really my MVP this stream. You need someone good looking on your team to appear in a scene. Who do we know that's good looking? So that's like, this is saying that nobody in my like staff is good looking. That's kind of a thing to say about people. But we all know it's going to be Dingle Daisy. Dingle Daisy is a severe hunchback and draws criticisms online. Ah! Gavin upwind sounds like a fart joke. I'm not being mean. Why did you make me cry so hard? Okay, I got some ice cream. Great. Give me the ice cream. I don't think I got enough ice cream. Do it again. That should be enough. There we go. Ice cream all over the place. Yes. Company upgrade. Star up. Yes. Check rewards. Claim that rewards. Cool. All right, we got some serious, serious karma action going on here. I'm unstoppable. Gavin, go to level 20. I'm out, I'm out of items. How to get storage stage drops. Evolve supply and love supply. All right, we're doing good. What is achievements? Did I get more stuff? Or is it this one? Karma. Cool. 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 Yeah, I get it. Daily quest, claim that. Yeah. Claim, claimed. 
Um, okay. So is this where we are? We're at 311? Well, who called me? Moments. An injured bird flew into Gavin's house. Two days later, it's all recovered. How cool is that? Post. Is this the... This one. Where is it? Where's where's the moments thing that I have to do here? Can I not? I don't understand. That's it? Okay. All right, great. Uh, let's continue. We get a dog doll. What a hot day. Maybe someone would know a cool, quiet place where you can rest. And when I need a cool, quiet place to rest, I ask Spine. He knows everything about this city. One must be accountable for one's own word. Hero's makeup is coming off. Send in thanks. After many hardships, we summon a lot of karma and absolutely crush this with three crowds. What an exhausting day. I like this child. Cool, we got some memory staircase and an encounter wish. And then 312. It's time for... I leaned out from behind the camera and asked. Hmm? Really? Yeah. He looked at it through the mouth of the bear costume. That's not what I wanted. I wanted this. He suddenly started to run. We'll turn this into a horror game. Hey, hurry, hurry. It's melting. What, the cotton? I ran after him. In full bear costume, Kiro trudged on all the way to the old grandma's home. And he huffed, and he puffed, and he blew her house down. Kiro! Sorry. I'll buy another one. Okay. He's gonna buy another one. The grandma used her own handkerchief to wipe the sweat off Kiro's brow. And she kept the handkerchief forever in a frame. Huh? 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 It's a love token. It's my old hermit from my past. <clears throat> Later, after we were married, I was about eight months pregnant, and they had a craving for cotton candy. My husband went out to get me one. It was so hot that day, it was melted by the time he got back. That out of bread, guilty look on his face was much sweeter than any cotton candy. As the grandmother recalls this story, she glows with an uncommon radiance. We never imagined that we'd bump on our way into completing the tasks like this. Today, Kiro bought me cotton candy. I should take a picture and post it online to the medias of socialness. The grandma quite skillfully opened various social apps, composed the messages, and sent them out. Kiro and I were both impressed. Oh, yeah, Kiro, I almost forgot. Can I get your signature? Just one will be fine. Grandma took out a pile of collected CDs covered in blood. One for collecting, one for listening to, and one to sell on eBay for lots and lots of money! Kiro took the CD from her grandma very carefully and signed his signature. Grandma, it's so good to have met you. Oh, hey, <laughs> what an adorable kid! I should be the one saying that to you! As a fan of Kiro's, every day for her must be interesting. Kiro must be very happy now. If they knew I was a... Oh. If they knew I was a fan, they wouldn't have let me on. It was hard to... Oh. 
Come on, I have something to show you, and I promise it's not dirty. The grandma took us into a room. A freezer with body... It was filled with everything about Kiro from his first debut. It was extremely, extremely creepy. It's him at six when he just started. This is a little strange. I have such a solemn expression. And here's a picture I took of him through his bathroom window when he was waking up and brushing his teeth. Grandma, what is... At 15, when he had just returned overseas. He had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich that day, but they ran out of bread, so they just folded it in half. This is two years ago. This is really intense, guys. It's such a good photo that I bought 20 copies of the magazine. Kiro was looking at me the whole time. I wondered if he would ever stalk me like the old woman stalked him. Kiro, you gotta take that evolve power, you gotta put your hand on the throttle, and you gotta pull it way back, buddy. You gotta pull that sucker way back. Way back. Way back. Honestly, guys, I'll, look, look, I'll be honest. I think this stream is going to be only Otome from now on. That's it. That's all we're going to play. It's going to be Otome Tuesday, Shadowverse Wednesday, and Fire Emblem Thursday. We may even get rid of Fire Emblem. We might just play Otome games on Thursday, too. Because I am having a great time. Life in Antarctica can be boring. You need a crew member with a sense of humor and an army of penguins. Haru is a fence. That doesn't make sense. Does he sell goods on the black, stolen goods in the black market? A cameraman is lost in the blizzard. Tysona is just rocking it. Tysona answers all your questions about the ancient coins. That's not what I say you to go do, Tysona. I need you to go find the missing. Look, look, there's some guy in the wilderness right now freezing his ass off. He's probably gonna die. I don't need to know about coins. Get the camera guy. Gavin, Gavin. Antarctica. Wow. <laughs> looks looks cold. <laughs> like that's so I imagine like you're just so nervous next to like Gavina is just so nervous next to a hot guy. And like, she doesn't know what to do. And she's like, just standing at the edge of Antarctica, like. Well, <clears throat> Antarctica, it's a... it's, it's cold, huh? <laughs> that's, that's what played out here. <laughs> what coins? All right, we have enough. Nope, that's the wrong one. We get enough origami cranes or whatever to pump Gavin up to max. Wait, I thought we did. Oh, it's different. Wait, huh? Didn't I just get a bunch of those? Maybe I didn't. Have I lost my mind? 314. What happens in this one? All right, lucky charm, memory star, star, star case.
Thunder Catherine. I don't know what you mean by that. But maybe phrase it differently for an Otome game. In all capital letters, Joe, you have a vibrating present. All right, the premise is a time-traveling youth becoming a hero. Anybody fitting the role? Sure, this grizzled old detective. Spine is a terrific actor. Who do you get to write the script? Oh, everybody sucks at writing the script. Uh, I... Dingle Daisy? It's you! All right, we need extra special karma support for this. One crown, ugh. All right, I'll tap on my, let's say, let's say, let's say, okay. I got gold. I work out. So now can I level up twice? Oh, okay. Now I understand how that works. Got it. Got it. Did I not click Lucian? Oh, that's why. Oops. Let's replay it. We're going to put Spine in there. Spine! Single Daisy. Summon the Karma. There were and you and you and go. Three crowns. Is there an esports league for Otome games? Because I'm pretty much ready, you guys. I'm pretty much ready. After I said goodbye to the grandma, I helped Kiro in his bear costume stagger back to the camera unit, drunk. Thinking of the grandma craning her neck to see footage I got on my camera, I couldn't help laughing. Kiro looked back at me. What are you laughing about? You're drunk and in a bear costume. I'm thinking when I work with Kiro, it's a bit tiring. Being with you and doing something I like makes me happy too. The wind kicked up. Oh, looking off in the distance, for that instant, I had a feeling I was being watched. That sea breeze from the summer when I was 17 seemed to be blowing past me again. I seemed to return to that summer. I stand on the soft, solid sand, ready to embrace the future. I turn back to look at Kiro, but he's gone, replaced by a giant vulture with... Oh. to the show I'll make with you. It's gonna be so fun, right? I feel like I have to I have to change the rating of the stream to M so I could really let out all the things that are in my mind. I don't know why, but I thought of that little bear in my dream. The bear that always makes the weather sunny and was slowly, like, looming over me in my bed. Big Bear and I waved our hands in unison. The fans thanked us. Kiro goaded me into taking a photo for them. Sure! <laughs> Suddenly, Gavina is Mickey Mouse. I'm not really sure. Feeling a little confused, I raised the phone. Why should we... Aha! Uh -huh. Why should we take this photo? Come on, Kiro! Let's go get you some chips! There were many fans asking on the way. When we passed an alley. Villain man. They don't even, they don't even waste time. We already know he's a villain. I'm with the film crew. Kiro's already finished. And gone back to the studio. We have strict rules. Not even entertainment reporters are allowed to enter.
Give me 50 bucks. And he's scamming my fans. Slap him in the face. Should we call for help? Kiro's like, no, I don't need any help. Bam. Stay put. I have a plan. Did you get it? Kiro suddenly threw down the flyers, took off his bare head. There! I'll teach you to scam my fans. Having trouble seeing? Mean-faced. He turned around, grabbed me by the hand, and ran. He even picked up the flyers along because he's even Kiro doesn't litter. I'm not even giving you a flyer. <laughs> You don't even get a flyer. You, you, I'm taking my business card back. And here's the address where you return the bear helmet when you're done with it. His clean, slim figure highlighted by the sun suddenly made me forget everything else. My face was all red from running and maybe a little something else. Here, take my hand. Mm. <laughs> you just rushed out like that for those girls. What if something would have happened? What if the villain man they shot them? My fans. It's my duty to protect them. Actually, if I ever saw someone scam scamming them. you guys, I'd probably, I'd probably get violent. Like I'd probably punch him in the face. Kiro is way better at like keeping at not escalating than I. I would probably have escalated. I would definitely have escalated. I'm not, I'm not an expert at de-escalation. What do we got going on here? Okay. The company received a commission to film a low-budget online drama. They're calling it Twitter. The filming's about to start when the lead actor has a schedule conflict. Send Cersei in there to change everyone into pigs. A supporting actor suffers a fracture. You're down to a crew member for backup. I'm just putting Tysona in because she's my MVP here. Fail. Oh. I forgot they put everything in order. Almost everyone into pigs. Can you three, in your advanced karmic state, recover this? You can. Let's do it. Oh, we're, is it three, three stars? Three crowns? Did we get it? Yes, we did! What is this? Uh, I got a J, okay. Okay, go away. Vibrating present. I gained confess wish. I got anticipation shards. Go back. Go back. A little bit of gems. How am I doing on Karma here? Can I level him up yet? I, I keep picking the wrong Gavin. He's just so handsome. Yes. Level 19. Oh, can I get him to 20? It looks like I can. Yes! Max out. Double Gavin Max. This isn't an iPad. This is a this is a piece of garbage like $40 tablet from Best Buy. Um, okay. Oh, yay, good music. 
end up. Oh, you, it, don't. Easy. Easy. The bareheaded con man lying on the ground, bleeding from the nose. Don't chase me. I swear I'll never hand out another flyer again. Take off your head. Off with his head. Off with his head. Costume workers were chasing some rabid fan would pull off their head. Oh, that's messed up. That's awful. Fans, calm the f down. You can't just do that to people. That's assault. Southeast, no enemy detected. What? Target base camp. Move out. What? What are you talking about, Kiro? Finally made it back. Hero, what the f Why didn't you inform us when you found Kira? What took you so long? Don't worry, we already got the material. What? I took out the camera and gave the card to Director Young. Everyone gathered around to watch what I'd shot. Don't ah! worry, I think it's really great. Just. This is shot so far. But the content is fun. I knew it would all work out. But I got nervous again. Young, just spit it out. You keep saying but and it's driving her crazy. It's driving Gavina Schmogang. Yes, Hero can do whatever he wants to do. It was a real emergency situation because the grandmother didn't have her cotton candy. Is that the emergency situation? This person has triangles coming out of their face. Told her not to tell the other crew. And stop yelling at my friend. You cannot tell Kiro what he can and cannot do. The lack of Kiro's autonomy. I don't like it. My stomach suddenly let a rumble. with the agent like newly found soulmates. How can they be so childish? Yeah, what a, can you, let's go have dinner. Well, now I'm on. Shh. Cleansing breaths. Why don't you eat it? <sighs> Not okay. Let Kiro eat food. Let Kiro eat food. I ha like I on it. I personally, honestly, have like a serious. Sweet, ah. huh? <laughs> 
Don't critique people's diets and, and weight. Never. Unless they specifically ask you for advice. Can we get Don't do something it. to eat? We've been running around all afternoon and we are starving. Honest. <laughs> now the music really like. A wind chime sounded gentler. He stood still at the intersection, seemingly hesitating over something. Finally, he turned right and went to the cafe where the girl stored the danger. He opened the refrigerator and exchanged the pudding there with the ones in his hand. Did you, oh, what happened? Wait a minute. Hang on a second. What, I don't know. Wait. Oh. What happened? What happened to the pudding? Did it, did it, did it end or did I screw that up? That was it? Hold on! No! 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 What happened to the pudding? You, no, you can't, you can't seriously tell me that's the end. The end of that scene was him reaching for the pudding? Ah, that's how they get you. That's how they get you. It's halftime. Damn it. I need to be better about talking about halftime at the beginning of the stream so that you guys know what's going on so we have a different halftime show for pretty much every game we do um and for and it's usually an improv game you guys get to pick something like a prompt or whatever and i have to make an idiot of myself so in this case for mr love queen's choice you give me a scenario a short succinct scenario and i have to come up with a pickup line like a one-liner not necessarily a pickup line because some of this, it, the, some of the contexts are like you already know the person, but some kind of like cheesy one-liner romantic thing, you know, like Mr. Love Queen's Choice style, like Otome style, where it's just like the sappy, cheesy one-liner. It has nothing to do with Pot of Greed. So what you can do if you if you didn't get it in today, next time we play, uh, you just you either whisper a mod or throw it in our private Discord if you're a sub. Um, and so we'll see here. Okay, you guys can pick starting off from somewhere. Give me a number between two and 23. JJ Tara, Char, jumping in with 10. Uh, Gara Sword writes, you're trapped with your crush in a VR game. So basically sword art online. Not a whole lot of contacts for me to work with here. So if you're trapped with your crush in a, in a, in a VR game, uh, geez, I, I mean, this is a little, a little on like the, on the, on the nitnoid if you're a VR person, but you could, you, you turn to them and say, you know, the narrow field of view on the Oculus never bothered me until you were in it. That's a pretty deep, nerdy tech VR pickup line. But people in VR would know it. Right? Because he wants to see more of the date. Everyone's like, what the f are you talking about? That was awful. Oddly, that's oddly cute. How strange. All right, you mean another, give me another number. Number 12 comes from Stekatori. You're a werewolf. Uh, and you fall in love at first sight. What do you say to them? Well, I guess, hang on. If you're a werewolf, let me, let me come up with this right here. If you're a werewolf, you'd be like, Hey, baby. I'm over the full moon for you. 
Yeah? Werewolf, werewolf pun? <clears throat> I like how the chat is always split between no and yes, that was amazing. It's just thanks. 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 All right. With the Kingdom Hearts in the background. All right. I got uh, number 14 there is from Tomochi Chan. You're buying furniture together and enter the bedroom section. MC somehow trips on air, pulling Gavin down with her onto the bed. This is so Mr. Love. What does he say to ease her embarrassment? LMAO. Oh man, this, the options are just so wide. This is so, it's just such a perfect anime Mr. Love moment here. Oh man. I don't know. This I, I can think of like 10. Gavin could be like, we're a mattress made in heaven. Or, I mean, really what Gavin would say would be like, what Gavin really would say there would be like, you need to be more careful when there's mattresses around. Stay safe, okay? Like that's what he would probably actually say. Right? Like, you guys know that's what he would say. It would be, you get really serious about it. Yeah, the first one was more Joe, the second one was more. All right, number 11 comes from Sabruk, Sabruchi. You invite your date to your house and bring her to your basement to watch Netflix. First of all, you gotta up your date game because and, and never use the word basement in a date proposal, okay? It doesn't matter if you have a cool basement. Like, you could have a super, you could have a super cool basement. Don't use the word basement in the proposal. Like, in the, in the, like, hey, baby, do you want to come to my basement? No, you don't do that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm finding it hard to, like, dig, dig my way out of this one because, hey, do you want to come to my basement and watch... Netflix. I I don't. Check your G diffuser system. Check your G diffuser system. It was your first date, Sabruchi. Wow. Were you supervised? Are you okay? That's a hell of a first date. Um, let's see. You invite your date to your house and bring her to your basement to watch Netflix. I mean, I mean, I guess the best thing, uh, the best thing you could probably say, if you want to be really sweet, you just, you just, you just hand her the remote and be like, it's all yours. Pick anything. But I really don't know. I really don't know what I would put for a pickup line. Other than like, like, do you want to come? Do you want to come into my basement? Don't worry, there are windows you can escape out. Oh, that's a good one, Spirit Chrysalis. You hand on the remote and you say. This and me are all yours. All right, the number 12 is from Port Nort. While on a dinner date, the MC accidentally eats something she's allergic to and her face swells up. What do you say to ease her embarrassment? What you say is, someone get me a EpiPen. That's the most romantic thing you can say in that situation. There's no, there's no cute pickup line there. Like, you don't want to be making jokes like, you, you don't want to be making jokes like, well, I normally make people blush, but this is a first. Like, that's not, you want to go for the life-saving. 
you want to go for the life-saving one, okay? You don't want to be like, well, no, Joe said no choking on my stream. You're breaking the rules. Because you can't breathe because you ate shellfish. No. All right, number four is from Chibi Envy Chan. Gavin is casually flying when he sees Ryan, the ice cream man, attempting to flirt with MC, so being the heroic bird copy as he flies to the rescue. However, he crashes into a nearby tree and lands on top of Ryan right in front of MC. That's tough. I gotta say, guys, in this context, Gavin probably doesn't say anything because Gavin is dead. Gavin f with Ryan, the ice cream man. And Ryan, the ice cream man, is terrified by his own ruthlessness. I think that's probably the... <laughs> Fiona! <laughs> I can't take any credit for that, but it's <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> Gavin lands on the ice cream and it says, I hope you like your ice cream hot. <laughs> Mwah! Perfect. That's so nonsensical. I love it. So good. So good. Another number. Number nine comes from Kiki Musical 13. MC is feeling down today and started walking out in the rain to try to make herself feel better. When she stopped, Gavin came and held an umbrella over her to shield her from the rain. Gavin, unsure on how to help, decides to say something to cheer her up and make her laugh. What does Gavin say? I mean, realistically, again, what Gavin says here is, is something like, if you're not careful, you're going to catch cold. Put on a jacket. And don't walk in the rain. That's really what Gavin would say. But if Gavin was going to try to cheer her up or, or like pick her up. Uh, I like there are so many. I, I, I got, I'm, I'm, I'm got to wipe away the dirty jokes. Flying her above the rain cr clouds is an interesting idea, irritating B, but I'm afraid that she'd become hypoxic at like several thousand feet. Don't get your bracelet wet, you'll ruin the tracker. <laughs> you guys are so much better at this than me. Don't get your bracelet wet, you'll ruin the tracker. I love it. I love it. I'm giving up on this one because because like well no so I think it, all right Gavin would never say this but he I'm gonna change this over here I don't know why I feel like they all need reverb but I feel like they oh that's oh no oh no that's not how you want to pick up anybody let's put it back we're right there he might say you know the umbrella isn't the only thing I want over you That's too steamy for Gavin. It's way too steamy for Gavin. Ooh, that's loud. We're sorry. This channel is currently unavailable. What? <laughs> We're sorry. This channel is currently unavailable. That was odd. Okay. All right. Last one is number 20 from JBS, who says, you have a bag of chips and you want to eat the chips, but you aren't allowed to eat the chips. How do you get your date to let you eat the chips? <laughs> you, look at, you look at your date, and you go, and you go, Please. Help me.
All right, mods, we're going to give away a print. Pay attention to the mods instructions in chat, and you could win a signed print of Gavin. Signed by... Well, I guess me. I'll be back. Check your G-Diffuser system.
All right, mods. Oh, I'm still very big. There we go. <laughs> Social distancing. E. Williams, 96. Congratulations on winning a pre- Get in touch with the mod, let them know who you are and where you are and what you want on that print. And I will write that on that print, followed by my signature. Put it in an envelope, put it the address that you give me on it, put it in a mail. It will get to you, you'll open it, you'll pull it out, you'll see the thing that you wrote, that you asked me to write, and my name below it. And you'll be like, huh? and then, I don't know, you'll move on to something else, I guess. Do we find out about the f pudding now? Where is it? 318. What's up, Mr. Happy Check? Nobody's good? Dingle Daisy can do the makeup. Make eye drops. The light will hurt your eyes with brightness, but darkness won't. Crushing it with karma. Crushing it with karma. Three crowns. And Your funding is not enough, and you need someone lucky. Thanks is lucky. Thanks, lucky, thanks. It's a dangerous path to the Mayan ruins. You need protection. So, okay. Tell me, explain to me why Tysona and Karyu or even Spine, who looks like he got the name because he used to rip them out of people. Why aren't they qualified to do this? But I'm sending Cherry. Can karma save us? It can. Will it get us the three stars? Did I make it? It looked like I might have been a little shy. No, I did. See, I don't need. I don't need any of that. All shards rewards unlocked. Claim manually. Got it. Combine shards. Make a victor card. Victor. Anticipation. I, okay, got it. Where do I, all right. 320. Okay, I got an achievement. I'll get it later. Okay, the pudding. Hastily took the pudding cups out of the refrigerator, thanked the shop owner, and ran back to the crew where the pudding was waiting me. At that time, a white production van was passing by. Good, Hero hasn't left yet. I waved to the van and slowed, but the pudding was lit. The driver flashed his lights, seemingly to say sorry about the pudding, and the van sped up and left. Looking at the pudding. <laughs> Looking at the pudding! <laughs> I received a call from Kiro. Sorry, I can't give you a lift home. His face is stuffed with pudding. I can't give you a lift home right now because I'm eating a lot of pudding. That was so we could save the show. I wasn't trying to make them worry on purpose. You've had a busy day. Get some rest back home. Kiro is so considerate. And there's so many fans, it's safer for him to leave. Notification, John. Who's messaging you? I forgot, I have something for you. Stay where you are. My agent is on his way. It better be pudding.
We should thank you for your work today. Sorry about all the times we screamed at you and made you feel like an idiot. Handed the paper bag. Does it have the pudding in it? It is, okay. So that's the pudding. See, but this is, this is bullshit. I know that the agent is gonna look in the bag and be like, hmm, Kiro can't eat this pudding and he's gonna throw it out the window. Kiro's never getting that pudding. I am hungry. The sweetness buoyed my mood and filled my chest with warmth. I went back home, took a bite of candy, and opened it. Why? Just, that was kind of random. Under the top headlines was a post from Kiro. The photos attached were all ones I took for him this afternoon. Oh my god, I love him. Kiro had very carefully covered the faces of his female fans with the cute... You didn't realize it at the time, but we've met before. All envy and praise. Kiro, you're the best idol in the world! Hot first? Ooh. In the center of posted photos was me trading my balloon with the girl. Oh. Bye, Kiki. Hero is telling them we might meet at any time. Another text message? Oh. He loves the pudding! He loves the pudding! Kiro got the pudding and absolutely loved it! It was the best pudding he ever had in his life! The pudding. Epic pudding. Wait a minute, she didn't even make the pudding? She bought it at Souvenir? I thought she was at home like slaving over pudding. And it was like a... She made it? I made the pudding myself. Whew, okay. Don't say that, Ki okay, Kiro's made his first error. Kiro hasn't made a lot of errors yet, so I'll let this one go. But what you say is, it tastes so good, it should be professionally made, or like, it's better than the, uh, whatever. <coughs> what a coincidence. You're making me more and more curious. Why isn't it open? Is it the pandemic? <laughs> give him a give him a smiley face. Record a voice message. All right. Achievement. Growth. Growth and karma. So growth. Phone, moments, post. You're well on your way to becoming a producer that says brisk is this bizarre candy tastes awful, of course. Why did you? You ate it? It could be a collector's item. Wait, we maxed out Gavin's upwind, right? And we can't star up until... Oh no, we can. All right, let's star up Gavin. Normal mission 1-6, we're gonna get that hat. We're just gonna remake it, do it. 
Wow. Have gained enough hat. Great. Gavin upwind, star up, umbrella, normal mission 1-7. Remake 10. One, two, three. Have gained enough umbrella. Yeah, no, not you, Kiro. Starring up cosmetic bag. I need two more normal mission. Go. Uh. Okay. Remake of that. We'll just do it. One, two, three. Got it. Have enough bag. Stop it. Starting up. Success. Ooh, Victor's SR. Coupon. Normal mission. Remake one. Give me the coupon. Give me the ten of them. Fine. Fine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Finish filming. Got enough coupon. Karma. No, that's the wrong one. Star up your binoculars. Normal mission. I only, I only need one. Let's remake one of them. I didn't get it. Victor's SR. What is SR for? Is R romantic and SR s super romantic? Super rare. Okay. Got him. Oh. 29, 10. Star up. Star that. Go back to upgrade. Uh, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Six, seven, eight. All right. Next. Vibrating present. Oh, I got those. Sweet. Uh, next. 321. What, how, why are we in Lucian's home? In his hand is a group photo taken in an orphanage. How do we get word? Not alone, his face usually shows no emotion. When he looks at the girl in the photo, his brow... Gavin is ready to head out. He opens his phone and brings up the chat session with the girl. Type, delete, type, delete. Gavin hesitates a while, finally choosing to put the phone back in his pocket. He draws his gun. He shoots the phone. Victor's home. He walks out of the bathroom and is an asshole. He opens the package and takes a bite. After a while, he slowly oh. spits out. that being said, he still sits down and finishes his pudding. <laughs> Holding an empty pudding cup. What is with the pudding? Kiro lying on a carpet plays on his phone. Oh, I like, I, oh, I love that aesthetic. That sort of rustic industrial. It's great. I love it. The bearskin rug is a little much. But everything else is great. The gramophone it's is cool. While. My evil seems to be changing. Should I be concerned? What's it gonna change into? Stretch my body over the desk. Will be a sweet dream. Who's calling? Uh, pick up the- no! No!
Wait, oh, call, who, call, who called? Midnight call? Don't call me at midnight. You don't I even know me. Your new proposal. And? Who's calling me at two in the morning? I thought it was midnight. It's me. Okay. You CC'd me on it. Did you not remember? I was sending it to Anna. You certainly do seem to be asleep at the wheel. It's two o'clock in the morning, Victor. Close your eyes. The draft was atrocious and full of holes. If like you're tacked? This, you should back out of the funding agreement with LFG now. Because you can't even meet the bare minimum. If you hadn't CC'd me by mistake, you'd still be asleep, dreaming. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. If you hadn't f called her at two o'clock in the morning, she'd still be asleep dreaming. Your error has cost me time and caused you trouble. No, no. No. You called her at two o'clock in the morning. I'm not, look, I'm not kink shaming, okay, Amazon? That's not what I'm trying to do here. If that's what, if that's what flips your switches, flip all of them. Have a great time. I'm not one to yuck somebody else's yum. But I don't see a whole lot of, like, negotiated kink consent here. That's all I'm saying, okay? That's, that's just not, that's not what I'm saying. Whoops. One week. Since you looked at me cocked your head to the side and said, I'm angry. Five days since I laughed at you. <laughs> Don't worry, Gavin, it's a song from the 90s. You have one week to get my approval. You have to accept the consequences for CCing me. <laughs> Waste my time again. And I'll have no more patience for you. <laughs> oh, guys. If you just knew the things that I wasn't saying. If you just knew the things I wasn't saying. Because I want to keep working in this industry. <laughs> That's a good one. That's the kind of logic that gets you at, at, at 2 o'clock in the morning. One week. <sighs> that means I have seven days. Remember what you just said, and don't disappoint me. Fool. Oh no, I, I envy Ben. Playing playing a jerk is it can be super fun. Super, super fun. For your job's sake, I'll pretend I didn't hear that. She just yes sir him. <laughs> Please, sir, can I go back to sleep now? I just, mm, ha. Yeah, this feels like grooming. This just feels like grooming. Yes. Uh, wait, hold on. That, uh, that pudding today, did you make it yourself? Is this the pudding you said was disgusting? I just never would have guessed you knew how. What an odd specialty. What do you like? Do you put that on a resume? Like, look, I'm not great at a lot of things, but one thing I am great at, make it pudding. Nothing. Remember, you have a week. Bye. And when I, 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 I want that report on my desk by Monday morning with 
with maybe pudding. And yes. <laughs> oh man, you guys. Next. I was alone walking through the crowd. I looked at my little hands and felt his temperature was still there. I walked forward trying to find the boy. Aren't we all? I walked until late night when I reached it. Oh, that was very fast. All of a sudden, the moon not glowing and the wind not blowing, the bittersweet smell of caramel led me back to the forgotten past. He opened that dusty door and looked at me. And he yelled, <laughs> Found you. I'm having trouble figuring out, like, the whatever is hanging on the back of the chair looks cute, but is it a sweatshirt? <laughs> he whispered into my ear, strategy in motion. Oh, uh, you goons. Do diligence, sir, there are some things you have to look out for, but in the end, it's about confidence. That's not like what I heard from the other companies. Who actually make money. Oh, that's not how it works. Aside from the obscene auditing procedures of LFG, but that's beside the point, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, it's a reference to another Elix game. That's cute. Fifty million dollars. Talking to himself and Grace. LFG is investing in such a small studio. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, but I don't think I can do this. Uh, uh, click bye. He ran away, like physically ran away? Our company structure is a mess. You're the CEO. You're 22 years old and don't have no you have no experience producing shows. How about you give Victor a call? Don't. We just did this. What? No. No, 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 no. I don't want to call him. It's against my principles. Half an hour later. What is it? <laughs> Get to the point. Is it investment related? Every time you show up, you're squawking about funding. It would surprise me if this wasn't about that. Well, it's about pudding. Who was that before telling me confidently that there would definitely be no problems at all? God. <laughs> it's so... It's so rough. Then I guess I don't need to tell you anything. Good luck. I'm hanging up. See you at the board meeting. What is it this time? The key is to have an ideal blueprint of development for your studio, with measurable goals to achieve along the way. To convince the board, they have to believe you can reach those goals. Uh, 
think LFG has no idea what financial situation your studio is in? Well, I mean, come on. There's no need to hide or gloss over Yes, anything. I should. I should call it's Ben Diskin up at 2 o'clock in the morning and insult his pudding. Next time, be a little more direct. Next Wednesday, I'll be in the office. You can come and give me a preview of your report. I'll film it, and I'll put it on YouTube. You got young! I don't want young, she's a jerk. I got, I mean, whatever. I guess that's okay. All right, guys. That's it for me tonight. Putting my tablet up there. Let's find somebody fun to raid. I don't know, let's pick, I don't know, let's pick a game that like, I don't know, let's see. What what game that I'm in do you guys wanna raid? We could raid Trails of Cold Steel. We could raid the G.I. Joe game, Operation Blackout, Cobra Kai. Let's see. I don't know if anybody's, uh, if anybody's playing Persona 5 Strikers, I, I don't know. You guys always tell me that Billy is streaming and then I go check him out and he's not actually streaming. I think it would be less impact if we like raided somebody in P5 Strikers. And you're like, hey, it's some guy who voices the, the reporter said that you, he was here. Is anybody streaming Judgment? Okay, this one is called, uh, pretty, actually, this is, okay, okay, so here's, here's something fun. This person, this person is streaming Judgment, which I'm in as, as Hoshino, and their, uh, their icon and name is Fee, Fee Clausel, so, which is from Trails of Cold Steel. So that's a double dose. You let them know. You let them know that Hoshino sent you, and also Kurt from Trails of Cold Steel. And I will see you guys tomorrow morning for some Shadowverse, 9 a.m. I'll see you there. And remember, as long as you're in the wind, it's cold.